Or thank you very much, man, for the sub, dude. Mega nice. Mega nice, man. Thank you, Holy Terror. A whole year, man. A whole fucking year. That's crazy. That's a long time. Thank you, man. All right, dude. Let's continue our our adventures of Geralt. Let's play some Gwent. I don't know how many people I have left to Gwent with. You know? But we'll get down on it. You're very welcome. Thank you for what you do. Super entertaining. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's very kind words. <sighs> What's good about The Witcher? Story. Uh, the world. The characters. The dialogue. The quest makeups. Uh, uh, the lore. I mean, that goes hand in hand with story. Um, all right, the combat's like a like a seven out of ten for for Witcher, but I really love it. All right, so we're we're um, underneath the bathhouse is the last place we left off, and we're supposed to investigate the site um, break in using Witcher senses. So basically, we need to figure out clues on how these motherfuckers broke in and shit. That's great, explosion crumpled in like a piece of paper. Mm, everything. It's such it's so such a good in place at the time of the explosion. Flying Last Goose Raid. I got myself a raid from a flying goose raid. Is this from Da Goose? Da Goose, are you reciprocating the raid, man? Or or we got another goose that's a fan of the stream hitting me up with a raid. Whoever's tossing a juicy raid over here, thank you very much, raiders. Gwent the troll? Can I Gwent the troll? I don't think I could Gwent the troll. Let's find out. Bart! Hey Bart, got a minute? <laughs> Yo, Patty, thank you for nine months of subs, dude. Thank you. Alright, no, I don't want rocks. I mean a minute to talk. You mean but not <laughs> one more time. Can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious, but no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah, yeah, but here, uh, like, uh, <laughs> Hey, Dagus, what up, man? Good to see you, dude. Trollololol. <laughs> I love Barton Trollolol. Let's talk about something else. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God, now nothing. Hey, Omixa, man, I see the raid, dude. You can comment down. All right, let's uh. Thanks for your help. Let's stop talking so to Bart. I don't think Bart knows shit about this break-in, so we have to figure. We got to figure out who broke in down here. Hey, Bartlett, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the tip, man. Hey, Goth, you're the best, and I love watching your stream. Uh, you've helped me stay positive in rough times in my life and have always kept me in a good mood. Which version of Witcher 3 should I buy? The PC version. If you have the hardware to back it up, get the PC version, man. That PC version is is 60 frames! <laughs> PC version, though. If you have, if you have both consoles... I think the PlayStation version has a little bit better performance, but otherwise, uh, same shit. Same shit. How's the weather in Florida? Beautiful. All right, so let's keep uh, investigating what the fuck is going on down here. Let's see, we got this. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Yeah. Is that all we know? Yo, Jay Sniperton, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Three months in a row, welcome that. back. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Follow the current. Now, why am I not finding pieces of it? <sighs> There's like poison and shit down here. Didn't they give me a um? Of course. I think they gave me like a like a potion for the poison, like an antidote. Didn't they give me something like that? I think the dude gave me something like that. Let's check my inventory real quick. Might be a quest item, usable item.
I don't know. Or maybe it's just not time yet. Take the take the anecdote. Okay. Um. Oh, I have it right here. <laughs> I, it was already in my inventory. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I had it equipped. What we got over here? Mitsu, how the fuck are you, dude? Me, you, and Mac gotta get down on some Bordy. We'll probably start new characters, though. Again, but I... Bordy 2 starts off really good, so that's not... That's not too much of a bummer to start over Bordy 2. Slice! Oh, I also turned up the Gwent difficulty for the next time we play Gwent, guys. Mm. Use your Witcher Sense to search the sewer room for evidence. I'm gonna guess there might be something up here. Like, all the way around over there. Let's find out. What do you think? Not saying shit, I guess it's on the bottom. Oh well. You gotta roll Axton because you're dumb as hell? <laughs> What's this guy all about? What do you got? Oh, there we go. Mm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. It's etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. <clears throat> Sounds like wyvern oil. Caramel? <laughs> That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Fucking Geralt is always talking to himself while he's on investigations. I don't know who he's conveying this information for, but <laughs> talk about caramel and shit. You didn't notice any dif any difficulty your your deck has made to exploit the AI? They really need to have a multiplayer Gwent game, man. I would love that shit. I would play the fuck out of it. There we go. I don't think that hurt. I think you're fine. Bathhouse is 100% less interesting without all the boobs. There was so much boobs before. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? What if he's thinking and you're hearing his thoughts? It's a good point. Done. Examined every <clears throat> sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. <coughs> oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? <coughs> at all? Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. A 
About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. <laughs> Hey, jelly beans. It's okay. All right. Next meet up, lady. Pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. <clears throat> All right. So we're looking to see if anybody put a bomb down a drain. Nothing interesting. Get out. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, your title still says destiny. No, it doesn't. It just says Bungie is scared to buy its own shadow. Four weeks, four more weeks of winter, and it says Witcher 3. I'm definitely in the Witcher directory. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Or what else? Ooh, what's that? Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Hey, Kato, oh, what's up, man? Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Who's Henkel? Margrave Henkel. Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Cook's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Rude, man. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Hinkle's Einhorn. Einhorn is is is, is Hinkle. Now south of the main square, <laughs> you might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Uh, God, is is chat in slow mode at the moment? Like two seconds usually. I don't really I don't really keep a extensive slow mode. All right, so we have to go to Margrave Henkel's house and see if that person is dead because apparently that person is dead but what was that was at the bathhouse spoilers there's no spoilers man I'm playing a game is goth Jewish no I'm not Jewish Do I look Jewish I'm Polish if that means anything to be mud what as well be right what a dump Looks oh like game of thrones on twitter the teasers got released ah okay some interesting friends fucking hey what you trend no all right how do i get in do i have to get in through the roof i bet i do I bet I do. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> it's locked. How am I getting in? Got a problem. Maybe I'll go around. Oh, a front door. That'll do it. You 
Oops. Footprints. Are you gonna are you gonna move down to Florida, Mitsu? When it comes time? I mean if half your family is down here, you might as well, dude. Never uses Witcher senses. Look, dude. Alright. <laughs> and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. The dandelions. Or series. Hey. Well, it's clearly a door. Solve the riddle from the mysterious note. Well, I got the bottle. Twelve forty five to twelve fifty four. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Cool. <clears throat> Uh, Twerkadactyl, thank you for eight months of subs, dude. Um, Chris, I mean, I'm not playing on console, so I don't know if what the frame rate's like on console. Wyvern oil. Stain. Wyvern oil. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. <coughs> Footsteps. Not good. Check downstairs. I'm gonna take this shit first. I already said that. Wyvern oil. Wyvern oil. Hunting gauntlets. Oh, what's this? Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstain. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Hmm. Looks like they made the bomb here. If you're Polish, what does this mean? I don't know, man. I don't I don't I don't speak Didn't Polish. I expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Guy needs to calm down. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time, but only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Um, that's a the Triss um alternate costume. Mm -hmm. so it's a free download. You work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs, darling. When I'm able to make use of someone, 
I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Whoa. Come on, admit you're scared of Menger. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse, son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Yo, Nakamura, thank you for five months of subs, dude. Welcome back. Making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Um, Petite Plethora, thank you for seven months of subs, dude. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. <coughs> <And laughs> Kill the guy who's yawning Siri. in the back. He's fucking up the cutscene. <laughs> that changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east you got of the it. harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Later. Triss is fine. Lay you down. <coughs> fine. <coughs> Yennefer is better, dude. I don't know Yen. I don't know her like that. I've gotten to know Triss. I like Triss. Triss seems nice. <laughs> Seems like a nice girl, good intentions. She wants the D. It's a guaranteed thing. Yo, someone back here want to play Gwent? Yo, I see that shit. It's locked. Oh, he's in there. Maybe he'll want to play Gwent. Easy, Pablo. <laughs> the reference. The reference. How is Pablo Francisco? I haven't seen him do stand up in some time, dude. Oh, this is a whorehouse. Did we play cards already? So. Yeah, we already played cards. So long. Later, nerd. You have nothing I want here. Ah! Meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor around midnight. You got it. Watch where you're walking. Watch where you're doing, eh? This guy all right? He's just like, time to get your nut in. Oh my god. All right. Around midnight. He had a few Comedy Central specials, and that's about it. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a yeah. look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky.
Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Rope is so much better. <laughs> Fine. Let's say they take the bait. <coughs> I suggest we Gwent our way in. in. I put a sword you play cards? Sword Gwent specifically. Is. Might not work. Manga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Two words, one word, unicorn. Everybody's telling me that you end up fucking Dude, Yennefer remember, on a on a stuffed unicorn. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Mm, all right. <laughs> that's that's weird. It's stuffed unicorn. It's bizarre. Hundred percent disappointing. <laughs> Doesn't sound very disappointing. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done, Yo! Triss Marigold. Uh-uh. Put her in a cell. Hands off. What did you say? Ah, sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, witch. One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stake. Bad oh, idea. man! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the right choice! This is more interesting anyways! I blew it already. Can I reload it? <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, checkpoint. Okay, there we go. Triss could not help. She did direct him to Serene Tilly. Fucked up real quick, man. The lost and the missing. Guided by Fa, dude. Motherfucker. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. I blew my cover instantly. Instantly! Okay, so we gotta go back a little farther than that. That one. There we go. There we go. Yet she did direct him to Kareem. You can still do it that way, it works both ways. And an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem. It ends the same? Oh, does it? Well, fuck. Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Hands off it. He's evil! Kill him! He would first need to find his dear old friend. Yo, Anonymous says, um, I've been a, uh, have, have been part of the Degoose raid yesterday. 
And it was the most heartwarming thing I've ever seen on Twitch. Thanks for being such a good guy. Also, two words, one word, well, Gwent. Well. Thank Chris you for the Eric. tip, man. All right, we can skip all this. You put her in a cell. All right, I want to talk to Menge. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menge himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah. You might know how to handle witches when they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, doctors, <coughs> and vermin. So don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Um, Anonymous says, Hey, Goth, I got an invite to three different colleges for tech program over the summer. Congratulations, man! Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by, with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me, but be sure to stay right close. Learned all the easy to find witches already, and I could use a quickie. We'll deal with the witches. Then we'll come for you, don't you worry. Scram before I lose my patience. Here's where we split up. <coughs> Go see Menga. Marigold. Oh, it's not windy inside here. That's weird. You can't have her until I get. You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Hey, Crucial Blue says, here's some money towards a stuffed unicorn for your wife. Wink, Kagoth10. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in, unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. I believe that Triss will be okay. Have a drink, Witcher. Why not? Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, no! please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. 
But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised Dude, Triss told me to, to let it go, man. Go she told me she could handle it. Still haven't paid me I have to keep up the act, man. You gotta believe in Triss, dude. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy has roast beef. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No! No more! Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee! Go! Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites! Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. <coughs> you see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. Yeah, get him! He say where Dandelion is? Yes. I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order, in person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... No need to explain. After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... He'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe, for now. 
though out of reach. We don't <coughs> have a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer. Or anyone's for that matter. He's got a knife through his throat. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. That was fucking intense, dude. Just as off as key in his Like, before we went in, she was like, I'll handle it. So, fucking, you gotta have trust in your teammate. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. <sighs> Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Oh, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. <coughs> or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the Halfling Merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, oh. except Dudu's in hiding right now. <laughs> Priscilla Dudu. might know something, though. <laughs> His he name is Dudu! Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. Oh, he's I gonna do it! Oh, is that what's happening? We need to get out of here. Yo, uh, Nephilim says it's Friday. Thanks for making my Fridays so enjoyable with your streams. Dude, thank you for the tip, man. Thank you very much, sir. I either go out another way or ready my sword. Geralt, over here. Okay. Grow up, goth. Yo. Yes. Well? Well. What are we doing? There we go. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Oh, I love it. Find a way out of the witch hunter's thing. Let's set it on fire. Thanks for your help, Geralt. Don't mention it. Yo. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss. Ha ha! Dude, fucking fun mission, man. That was intense, though. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? <clears throat> Why is Geralt of Rivia? Will you stop following me already? 
<coughs> I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. <laughs> I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That Where was the key? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. There was no key! Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. It's a magic what? key. You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. Your I eternal reward! Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. I already went to this guy. Level 17, let's... <laughs> what do we got? Uh, Let's put a mutagen in the bottom thing, man. No. Do I have a good vitality one? I have a hundred vitality one. I guess that'll do for now. I have a point. Um, increase potion overdose threshold. Uh, bombs. I think I'm gonna work on this for dialogues. Go see Triss. Yeah. Tell Priscilla that you've learned about Doo Doo. <laughs> His name is Doo Doo. Is now when is now when um when Triss like listen because everybody says that if I choose one then I can't choose the other so like if I go if I go talk to Triss am I in bad shape or like is is now the time of the doing it? I don't think there are yellow mutagens, man. Like, am I, is now when I choose to romance Triss, or should I wait? Am I gonna choose Triss? I don't know, dude, I don't know, I don't know Yen that well yet. I haven't spent any time with Yen. You can have both. Shut the fuck up, Matt Pot. No, because it blows up in your face, and I know it. I've already been warned. You'll know the decision. Yeah, you can't have both, because then they'll re leave you, yes. You either get one or the other, or you get both, and then you get neither. It's hilarious, though. That's not what we're doing, Matt Pont. I want to make a meaningful decision in my playthrough. Excuse me! Excuse it! Excuse me! What the fuck was that jump? Do you seek to get me drunk, sir? If I was seeking to get you drunk, madam. Yen is a 10. I don't know, I'm digging Triss, man, but it's not time to choose yet. If she if she wants me to come over now, I don't know if that's like... Hey. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Doodoo. -doo. <laughs> His name is Doodoo. -doo. 
What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion and move to Oxenford. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Doozy? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he Thanks, trusts. Dudu. Dandelion. Irina Reynolds' troop. <coughs> Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. His name is Dudu. <laughs> Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu was away with days <laughs> attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. <laughs> so most importantly, it must have a splendid title. <laughs> First it's name Dudu. Last name if you Butts. Wish we can start on it right away. Dudu Butts. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right, let's get to work on the play. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Nope. All clear. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Polis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. <coughs> a tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit. And the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide. And can only count on the help of his friend. Who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Let's keep thinking. That seems a bit... Too fresh? Right you are. Wait, give me a minute. I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Parvetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theater. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. She's a Contribute bitch, man. Work as a whole. <laughs> Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph really emphasizes the message we're trying to get across. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? 
Mm. All right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, listen. Merely decide, and I'll get to work. Comedy. I think comedy is the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. <laughs> While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. You right? Fine. Since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. Just keep quiet. <laughs> <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but. We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? <laughs> hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the kingfisher at dawn, or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. <coughs> contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar, or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure, you know where to find. Netflix and Gwent. The troop performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. See ya. <laughs> Name is Dudu. <laughs> this guy's stupid as fuck. He laughs. What? Are you, yeah. What are you two doing? Oh, <laughs> that was weird. I thought something was going on on that ledge. Heal your daughter in a day. I doubt it. Don't push. Damage. Oh. Boars. Boars you guys saw that, right? <laughs> oh man, you just bought Witcher 3 on the Xbox One because of me? Enjoy it, man. It's a great game. Hey. Where are you going? Hey. This is where Madame Arena's troop performs. Yeah. But you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket. <laughs> this guy, man! Fuck this! Yeah, whatever, dude. You're very pushy. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Need a ticket. These mamas in rehearsal. You need a ticket, Dad. Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelion's told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. <laughs> <laughs> Always want to talk about Dudu. Quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. Oh, undisturbed! Damn, look at those eyes, dude. Here to talk about Dudu. How can I help? <laughs> We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play, and who will write it? <laughs> they need more fiber if they haven't seen Dudu lately. It. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Sure. Think we need ushers? 
A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but our usher's absolutely necessary. Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly... You got bored by the whole play thing, so you went to right. Skellige for more adventure? We'll get there, man. That's I'm 100 percenting this bitch, so... Butchers, knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Now anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you get <coughs> the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles hey, on Cromerax, the Hey, what's up, dude? Will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Uh, Death Squad Bob, uh, thank you very much for the tip, dude. Is it bad that I'm 33 and chuckle every time they say doo doo? Are you watching me? Of course, that's fine. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. You can only 100% if you choose Triss and, and Yen. Well, then I guess I'm only going to 99.9% it. I'm only I'm only going to choose one, man. Optional recruit, recruit jugglers, a performing troupe called the Puffins. I'm absolutely doing that. Later, nerds! No, I didn't see nothing. Ha! The Puffins! Let's dance. Hey! Hey, I thought she was dead. Oh, you got no legs now. That's a bummer. Thanks for the steak, nerd. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, yeah? Ooh. Oh. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? That ass. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? <laughs> He's legolas. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. I'll kick their ass, Fatso's man. gang. Fuck Common Fatso. thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Get rid of the thugs. Let's go beat that ass, man. Oh, dare you to say it again. Hey! <laughs> so you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Straight cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. 
Worms that insulted Iraq Kemal fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. <laughs> Tell them fucking people <coughs> down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, they play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh yeah? Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow! Right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. So quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. These guys didn't want to play some motherfucking Gwent. I want to play some Gwent. Ooh, what's up there? Is there a fucking... Can I... What are you? Hey. Hey. Merchant. Greetings. I think we've already talked, and I think I bought your cards already. Farts, man. So long. Okay, head to the docks and hire ushers for the play. Ooh, there's a bar. When there's a bar, there's Gwent. Locked? Go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> Barkeep! Oi there! Hello. An artist. A sword swap. No. No. A witcher. Never heard of that. What did the cook make today? Nothing. No cards. Let's play Gwen! Gwen! In the mood for All right, I turned up the Gwent difficulty. Let's see how this goes. You're about to be scorched to hell? Nah! It'll be fine. Haha, -ha, nerd! Where did I get Siri? Some dude had Siri. Some dude. Yo, Adam J. Spooner says, but for real, can we talk about doo-doo? <laughs> can we please, can we please just talk about doo-doo? Please, could we talk about doo-doo? I think we need to talk about doo-doo. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, nerd, now what? Oh yeah? Is that the move you're making?
<laughs> need a ticket? You gonna need that ticket. Perfect. What's she gonna do, bud? What's your plan, man? I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Let's see what else you got. Okay. You only got two cards left. I mean, there's no way I lose this. It just doesn't happen. It's just not gonna happen. Gwent, Gwent, Gwent. What did I get? What card did you give me? Have a car healer. Have a car healer. What deck is that from? I pass it? There it is. Oh, okay. Funny cards with the same name in your deck, play them instantly. Instantly, okay. Uh, anything to steal up here? Or did I just jump up here for no reason? <laughs> that was weird. Hup, see ya! <laughs> I'm out! Alright, dude. Um, Head to the docks and hire ushers for the play. Let's do it. That's OP as fuck. It's not a bad card. I'll work on other decks. No, there was a smuggler and the healer right next to each other. Hey! You! Yo! Fine. Uh, what, don't you got any cards? I don't give a shit about what you have to say. What is this pack here? That's 30. That's bullshit. But we're playing some Gwent! God, you have a pretty sick Nilfgaard too, deck yeah, if you were to build man. it. I'll do it. I'll get around to it. I'll make it happen. Me and the captain. <laughs> Get lit on Gwent! Aw, oh, damn. Uh... Yo, pretty sick hand right here, man. Um, Pretty sick hand. I think I'm gonna go with... Mm. Ah, should've kept one of them. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, I got my, I got my Yennefer card. Never mind, that's good. Yeah, I got my Yennefer card, so we'll start with this guy. Nice. I hope he pulls two of those little thief guys next. I got I got the four. I got the four from that. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to waste the Scorch on it. But I guess I could play the 8 card. 
Guess I'll have to play the eight card. Oh well. What the fuck is Gwent? Help! It's card game inside the game. Hey, it's Jay though with 14 months of subs. Welcome back, Jay. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. Thank you very much, sir. Mega nice. Mega super kind. Oh, he's he's sh sh fucking shit on this game, man. Oh, is that what you want to do? You want to play that ice? You think you got moves? You ain't got shit. Use just a little bitch. I'm just gonna knock him out on this one. There's no way he wins. I've already I've got the clear weather with my my leader card, so it's whatever. It's whatever, nerd. God, you gonna play the division beta? Fuck yeah, I am, dude. Hells to the yeah. Hells to the yeah. I just want to keep playing cards in case he has another frost in there. Goth has gotten to the point where he could destroy nearly homeless merchants in Gwent. Look, dude, you don't know me. <laughs> I mean, I win regardless, so. Morning. <coughs> cool, I win Gwent. Later, nerd. You suck at Gwent and should give up. What's in here? Hey, hey, get up! Fuck out of my. You want a smack? Lone Shark, huh? Listen here, Lone Shark. Greetings. What have you got to pull? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coins. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Yeah, do you have any cards? And do you want to play cards? Show me what you have in stock. Alright. Get that book. How about some fucking Gwent? What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? Most of the time they don't even respond. They're just like... I see where you're going with this. I like it. He's a beast monster deck? Noted. Yo, yo, yo! He's got that monster deck going on, man. Ha <laughs> ha. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Points! He's down to six cards. But I ain't scared of this shit, man.
Oh yeah, that's what you want to do? That's what it is? That's what it's gonna be? You're gonna get fucking... He, he, he's gonna... He's gonna get it, dude. This guy's gonna get it. You got a monster deck in there, man. You ain't got shit. Oh, it's on. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, whoops. Whoops. It seems, it seems that you may have scorched me. Whoops. Fog? What are you, running out of cards? What's the strong choice to make here? He's got 18. He's only got two cards. Boom. Perfect. He's got he's about to get his ass scorched. Pass and GG, yeah. Pass and GG. And just so we can feel the fire. There we go. Fuck you, nerd. You ain't shit. Go fuck yourself. Finish him. Gwent, motherfuck! Torrential Rain. Yeah, that's the card I wanted. You want smack? Do you want that smack? Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It will just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament. Oh, that motherfucker! Oh, Fuck that guy! Last rites. You'll never learn. Got him! I remember that guy. Fuck that guy, man. These guys are dumb. They're dead and shit. I think gods would like the combat in this game if you played on a higher difficulty. I don't like that you don't heal when you fucking meditate on the higher difficulty. I'm playing on fucking medium or whatever. I don't care, dude. I like slicing guys up into pieces and pushing them down and shit. I'm also way over leveled now. That fight is way more fun if you let them take your sword. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Save me. I'm dying. Come closer. Get out of my way. I'm very busy. Let us live. Oh, what was that? That was a fucking merchant. Hey! Oh, this is the whorehouse. Damn it. I've already been here. I already played them in Gwent. Get out of my way. Fucking terribly busy. Yeah, I'm gonna play the DLCs too. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. I already played the lady in the brothel. I should have just taken a signpost. I didn't realize I was going to be running across the entire city for this shit. I guess I should have looked at my map. This game is huge, guys. Like, the, the next DLC is, is supposedly 
um, the same the size as Velen plus this city. Yo, Disco Chamo, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Welcome to the Raptor Pack. Whoa, 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 whammy! Love it. I got a job for you. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble. Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks can start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me, I'm brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. All right, man. You should have fought him? Nah, dude, nah. Nah, dude, you don't want to rough him up. What if I hurt them and then they went to guard? Because I'm sure that wouldn't have happened, but maybe. You know, you got to think about your decisions. Should have fought. <laughs> should have fought around the world. Come on, Tugger. What's he doing here? All right, man. Let's do this play. Hey! Oh. There you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll be <coughs> there. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? <laughs> Where is she? So, about the princess. Small Hey, surprise gamers, world. what up, man? Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Yo, fuck Priscilla, man! It's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages. Where's Dudu at? Flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's Beam Savers, what up, dude? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. I think he'll show up. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. Doo -doo Brown. All right, got the cast figured. I out. gotta piss real bad, guys. So, 
It's been a couple hours. To plunge headlong into your career as a mama? All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom, then we're gonna start this play. Alright, man! Dude, go dude, press the button. I- I was in the bathroom. We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. <coughs> Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you... Chair did good, stay. chair handled it, okay. Alright, let's go, man. Let's do a play. That Ladies evening. Ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of people here. honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad. Welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or The Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the Oh, I love the dwarf. The dwarf's awesome. Renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Act one. How long is this, some bitch? Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Oh, I didn't read the thing! Uh... To slay beasts most foul, t'was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. 
He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. I didn't read the thing. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child. I didn't know I was supposed to learn love, lines. This beast, though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. His Alas, eyes are very close no together. monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender uh -oh. friends. Months I held back my He's love's drunk. heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. And then. Boo, I'll you suck! Your ripe <laughs> virginity. <laughs> oh, darling. I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. She wasn't holding anything. The brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark. Hark. <coughs> is no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him. It seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop. Stop. Beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. <clears throat> but you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the God, remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Yo, that's doo doo. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Lighten up, for God's sake. 